Hey guys, welcome back. As always, we have another banger. Um, <clears throat> today we have Rob Buxton versus Sasha Platnikov. Um, this is from uh, Karate Combat 37. You know what I'm going to say, right? Before we start, click subscribe. Does wonders for the channel. We appreciate those of you who have already clicked subscribe. We appreciate all the new viewers. Let's jump in. Apparently, been working a lot on this uh, on, on, on this weapon. So All right, uh, Goju Kai. This is his first fight. Um, Goju Kai, as far as I understand, is um, a traditional Okinawan style, um, major in you know hard and soft style. So, a traditional background, respecting power. Um, Tang Sudo um, is a mix of uh, traditional Okinawan and. Um, <clears throat> uh, Napa, I think they call it, um, and, and the Chinese traditional style, among some other styles mixed. Um, so I'm expecting Boxton to be a, um, a little more fluent with his techniques uh, because of that um, Chinese background. Um, I expect uh, Platnikov to be a more rigid fighter, more powerful striker. Let's take a look and see. Ooh. So we already seen um, that boxing pedigree from Platnikov going good range. You know, put those combinations together. I like his bounce. Ooh, nice back leg round house kick from Boxton. You see, Boxton has a high hand, elbows tucked, more of a kickboxing stance. Which you do see in the, the Chinese style karate cars, right? Ooh, Rala, fuck me. I love this slip, but that of course, god damn. Ooh. So again, right, you're seeing that, that not, not so much traditional, but that um, uh, Asian influence in not just their posture of having that, that mixture, but the way they're throwing these shots, right? Ooh, nice try with the front kick. Nice combination. Ooh. You know. There's that no back away mentality, not, not managing too much distance, just getting those techniques to work, using the guard to defend them, and oh, how he got that shin up there. And more importantly, how did Platnikov eat that kick? Ooh. A little bit of swag from Platnikov. I'd love to see some leg kick starting to, to, to come into play. Mm. Oh, nice. So you see that Platnikov clearly has um, some kickboxing, some MMA experience anyway. Ooh, nice lead uppercut to that right hand. Asian cadet, you see? We, we see, in, we see in the, the um, Asian influence, but you see he has his own swag, right? The way he operates. Um, but I like boxing combinations. He's definitely landing some nice shots, but... That left hand not really doing anything. It's more of a fake. Oh, finger in the eye. Well, you can clearly see he was he was trying to frame. May have caught him with the finger in the eye. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, from Boxton, um, I, I do like his combinations. I would like to see him throw a stiff jab. He's a nice tall guy using that range. Um, but that's easier said than done because Platnikov is doing a beautiful job slipping. But so far, the majority of what we've seen him slip is Boxton leading with that left hand, right? And Platnikov always slips to the outside. So it would do him some good to step in and throw a stiff lead jab, especially since if Platnikov does decide to drift and he's coming in with that right hand, either A, he catches him with that, right, that left, sorry, or B, he slips right into position for that right hand, right? Of course, it's easier said than done to being able to pull that off in the fight in real time you know we play monday more than quarterback you know it's easy to look at these things and think you know oh it wasn't that hard of a poke but you know in real time you never know um you, you could find yourself with a finger in the eye and it's very uncomfortable right it, it's hard to see especially because he's trying to frame 
and create some space so there's some effort in it you know and the hand comes up it's possible right well you know we even have a santa claus here I don't think Platnikov is going and stop fighting. Well, he does have okay, look, I'm just going to give him a couple more minutes to recover. You know, it's interesting because if you actually take the, I've never really seen anyone take the full five minutes because it's a huge chunk of time in reality. Now you think about it, it's like it's either the pelotas or the pelotas in your head that you get five minutes for, right? <laughs> never thought of that. Yeah, so you know it doesn't look good. I, I was that boss fancy way of saying is either getting kicking the nuts or getting hitting the nuts of your head as we call your eyes? Boss. Hope it's going to be for the best, but... Yeah, it looks, it looks like it was the, the little finger of Rob Buxton. No, I just thought about... It may work to Buxton um, benefit to start bringing some knees in, right? Um, again, it's wrong one, they're feeling it out, seeing what's happening. Because um, he's so tall, right? I keep looking at his stature next to, um, to Platnikov. It's not much, much taller, but range-wise, he does look like the lengthier fighter. Keep fighting. That's the thing, you know, you, you don't wanna... See, pulling his head down though. He putting his face in range of Platnikov. Ooh. Platnikov is putting some pepper on those hands. Ooh. Ooh, this fight not going out of here. It's over. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I just said it. He's ducking his head. And Platnikov hand, man. Oh, 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 oh. He put a combo on him. Ooh, you want fries and a drink with that, sir? Oh, god damn. Can't take them shots, buddy. You can't take them shots to the chin. That was gap. Ooh, we knew. We saw it early. We saw it early. He had that swag. He was slick with it. Yeah, damn. Okay, so I think they're explaining to the corner that this fight is over. Being left, being right. Oh! And I tell you, it's, it's not one. It's because he put in so much pepper and it's so much versatility in that hand shot, that, that, that um, boxing game. And now he's on his feet. Right, he on his feet now, so he all of them staying within the realm of what he was able to do. But god damn, he put some pepper on him. Bing, oh, and again, why did that happen? Because you have a taller guy in Buxton in this wide base, and he's ducking his head forward, so he's he put himself in position for Platnikov to touch him early. And when you have a guy as skilled as Platnikov. And he sees that 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 you're putting yourself in range, you get come on. That's what happens. Yeah, damn. That was up. Shout out the fighters, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, you didn't seem to kill out any first round, but yeah, you know, shout out Sasha Platnikov with that left hook, our right hand. My goodness. Um, shout out Robuxon. I love to see him uh, get another one. Um, you can clearly see that he has some, some talent. I love to see him with a little more experience. How he does, guys. That's it for us today. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Let's see it in the next one. Peace.